All right, ladies and gentlemen, the 1968 Dodge Supercharger Concept. Hey, uh, Joe's actually in the audience somewhere. Uh, where are you at, Joe? There he is right there. Uh, let's give a round of applause to Joe and his team. I mean, look at that masterpiece. If this vehicle doesn't get your pulses racing, I'm not sure what will. Uh, this is just what you call a showstopper. And if the show ended right here, uh, I would consider it a success. Over Mopar has never been satisfied with doing the expected. Yes, this supercharger concept is beautiful. It's the perfect package where heritage meets modern styling, but it's just not the wrapping that's important, but it's also about what's under the hood. So I think it's time for me to address the elephant in the room. All right, I think it is. So over the last few years, Mopar has uh, been excited uh, with words like horsepower, hemicrate engines, hell crate. In fact, in 2016 at SEMA, we debuted a 345 and a 392 crate hemi engine kits. And on the high end, they put out about 500 horsepower. And then during the 2017 uh, SEMA, we uh, put performance enthusiasts into overdrive by unleashing the Hell Crate. 707 horsepower, supercharged Crate Hemi engine kit. And it was, uh, it was a knocker, right? So never before had anybody factory direct OEM a 707 horsepower plug and play solution, but we did. The Crate Hemis and the, crate, and the Hell Crate are here on the show floor today. But if you want more proof what Mopar brings to serious credentials, our Gen 3 Hemi aluminum race block is also on display today. And in September, it helped our Mopar Dodge Challenger drag pack to the winner's circle at the National Muscle Car Association World Street Finals, securing our first championship for the factory supercars. Earlier this month, drag racer Leah Pritchard also drove the Mopar Dodge Challenger drag pack to her third consecutive win and clinched the NHRA factory stock showdown championship. And in fact, that car is sitting right over there. You guys can look at it later. So like Leah and all of you, we're always looking for that extra ounce of performance. And the good news is, we found it. And you may have seen her teasers, by the way, on social media. And as you watched, you knew something big was coming. Well, the wait is over. Roll the video. Introducing another first for Mopar. Plug and play, 1,000 horsepower, Mopar 426 supercharged elephant crate hemi engine. That's right, this Mopar elephant crate hemi engine delivers a staggering 1,000 horsepower along with 950 pound feet of torque. This elephant is a beast. The elephant reaches the 1,000 horsepower mark through an aluminum block engine um, that delivers massive weight savings uh, because we wanted to keep this elephant light. Bulked up displacement, and we even added an upgraded supercharger. To give your track rivals a signal that we're packing something special under the hood, the unique elephant logo, tribute to the legendary 1964 Mopar 426 engine, affectionately named the elephant for its size and power. Combined with the Hellefin Crate Hemi engine kit, a thousand horsepower can easily be dropped under the hood of a pre-1976 street vehicle or an off-road vehicle. The Hellefin Crate Hemi engine kit will be on sale early next year, so check out CrateHemi.com for more information. Well, we'd like to think the Hellefin is a very special gift and all the performance lovers out there, but what's a gift if you can't open it up and play with it? So I think we should fire this thing up. I also think we should bring Pietro back up to help me fire this thing up. So Pietro Gorlier. Thank 
Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. So excited to be here once more, once here again. And, uh, and by the way, Steve, there is a good friend of Mopar in, uh, here at SEMA. Uh, he has been my partner in crime for a couple of years, and I, he is a true, true, true Mopar, Mopar enthusiast. I mean, we have a little discussion about who invented Mopar or no car, but I think I will take uh, Mark was on stage with us. Come on up, Mark. Where are you at? There he is. No car, no car. Yes. No car, no car. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's mental. It's always yeah. right. They told you to walk in front of the car and you can <laughs> hey, do it. Yeah, yeah. Who else would How do this other than Mopar, right? Oh, so, that's what do you guys think? Let's, uh, why don't you help me get this thing fired oh, we're up, starting right? It, right? I I feel cool. yeah, no, right. We had a little uh, discussion last time. Nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah. Take the fire that. marshal 15 minutes to get here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in my motel room. Uh, Start it. All right, Start so it. on the count of three, guys, help me. Yeah. One, two, three. Now the fire Listen marshal that, is going to come. There, there you go. go. Oh, Listen to that. Listen to that. Come on, now give it a round. That sounds music to my ears. Oh, it's unbelievable. That's beautiful. That's Mopar style. That is what Mopar has done ever since yeah. it started. Hey, Love and, Mar it. and Mark, since you're a good friend of Mopar and a good friend of Pietro, I'm going to consider you a friend of mine. And Thank by you. the way, that engine's yours. You can use it in one of your project cars coming up. How about that? Are you serious? I'm serious. Yeah. That engine's yeah. yours. <laughs> wow. Seriously? Yeah, seriously, it's yours. Oh, well, so, okay. So let's get <laughs> off the stage for the far. <laughs> I could take it now? Yeah. If you could yeah, carry it on your back, you can at take the end it. Of the show. That's crazy. Is that serious? You Thank you. It. Yeah. you I didn't know. That's cool. That's, so anyway, uh, everyone, please help us celebrate the Elephant's thousand horsepower. There's a beer master uh, van right over there. So as always, it's Mopar, Mopar or, or no, no car. car. Thanks, everyone. Woo! Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That is incredible. Thank you.